Imagine the tech giant Microsoft going nuclear to power its artificial intelligence ambitions. Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Welcome to Hear the Web, a podcast by US Tom and Lily, giving voice to all the fascinating happenings on the internet. Exactly, Tom. In fact, Microsoft thinks next-generation nuclear reactors can power its data centers and AI systems. According to a recent job listing for a principal program manager tasked with leading the company's nuclear energy strategy. But it's not without its snags, and it's all tied to the company's tricky balancing act involving energy consumption, data centers, and the fight against climate change. So they're essentially looking for someone to lead all aspects of the nuclear energy infrastructure for global expansion. What's even more interesting here, Lily, is Microsoft is particularly interested in small modular reactors, or SMRs. And all the talk around nuclear energy these days is around these next-gen reactors, right? Absolutely, Tom. Unlike the older, huge predecessors, these modular reactors are touted to be simpler and cheaper to construct. For perspective, the last large reactor built in the U.S. went roughly $17 billion over budget after seven years of delays. Quite a massive jump from that, isn't it? Yeah, it's in stark contrast. But it's important to mention here that these SMRs require a special kind of uranium fuel called HALU, which is more enriched than the fuel used in traditional reactors. As of now, Russia is the main supplier for this fuel. That's correct, Tom. Meanwhile, there's a push in the U.S. to set up a domestic supply chain. This already seems to have some friction, though. Communities located near uranium mines and mills are opposing the move. Another big question. Handling the nuclear waste generated, which the U.S. is still struggling to store. Yes, Lily. And it's worth noting that Microsoft isn't publicly detailing its plans for using nuclear energy or how they might handle these potential challenges. But if we look into the company's history, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates is not just a fan of nuclear energy, but also the founder and chair of TerraPower, a firm developing SMR designs. Adding another layer to the mix, Tom. But reportedly, TerraPower and Microsoft have no agreements as of now. However, Microsoft does have a deal to buy clean energy credits from Ontario Power Generation, which is on track to be the first utility deploying an SMR in North America. And one thing we still haven't touched on, the company's audacious deal with a company called Helion to buy electricity. They're working on an even more futuristic fusion power plant. We're talking about creating energy the way stars do, by fusing atoms together. Oh, that's the holy grail indeed. Compared to nuclear fission, this fusion reactor could produce a vast amount of clean energy without generating the same radioactive waste. But science still needs time to breach this frontier, and time is what we're most pressed for in addressing climate change. True that, Lily. Microsoft's chairman and CEO, Satya Nadella, said in the job listing that we are committed to helping our customers use our platforms and tools to do more with less today and innovate for the future in the new era of AI. It's going to be incredibly fascinating to see how Microsoft trods this delicate path between innovation, nuclear energy, and grappling with our planet's climate challenges. Absolutely, Tom. With this shift towards nuclear, Microsoft is venturing into not just untested waters, but also shifting societal, environmental, and geopolitical landscapes. So that wraps up this edition of Hear the Web, where a tech giant is placing its bets on nuclear to power its AI ambitions. Stay tuned for more stories about how the internet shapes our world, brought to you by Tom and I.